guys welcome to another story time and um, first I'm gonna talk about uh, one or two things and then I'll get into the story part but I just wanted to mention the story part is actually in the form of dialogue that I had written down so it's probably really really bad and I don't know probably cheesy or something I don't know um, I'm like I say in all my story times, I'm not a good storyteller. Things may be confusing or strange. Just because I'm saying them as I come, as they come out of my head. So, yeah. But first, I would like to start off with, um... I, but I changed Alex back into his onesie, by the way. Um, and then I was like, I'm doing this. I might as well update you guys on what's going on. Um... I got this sweater for Alex, and I think it would also look really cute on Kira when I open her. Um, and in case you guys don't know who, what I'm talking about when I say Kira, I have a um, Bobobi Picks You or Resin Soul Picks You. I mean, they pretty much the same thing. Anyway, um, I had ordered her pretty much a month ago. She came and she's just been sitting under my tree because she's a Christmas present. I haven't been able to open her until Sunday or Monday. Wait, wait. Saturday. Whenever Christmas is... You guys know what I mean. Anyway. So, yeah, that's what I'm talking about when I talk about Kira. And, um, anyway, my doll group was talking about these and they were saying, um, you can buy them at five below. And I did, and um, they had one other one that was like a slightly different design, but it was like really jacked, and that was it was like the only one. So I I want to go back and see if I can get it, grab another one, because these are really cute, and he looks really good in it. So yeah, and it was like three dollars. It wasn't even five dollars. And then um, I got. This at um, Ross. If you guys don't know what a Ross is, it's like a discount store. They are basically backpack keychains. Um, the keychain part was like right here, and um, it basically just has a face on it. I've seen other ones where it's like it had like studs and stuff on it, so it looks pretty cool. Um, it's just I found these two um, when I was there the other day and I was just like, those look perfect for Alex and Kira. And it's basically just like a normal little backpack you can put stuff in. And it fits Alex really nice. If you guys saw the live stream I showed you um, on Instagram. Because I've been going live on Instagram instead of on here. Just because it's a lot easier and my internet basically works better on, Inst on like my phone and stuff. So, yeah. But these are really cool. So if you're looking for like backpacks or something, I would go to like your discount store, um, like Ross. It's like a disc discount clothing store basically, but they sell a bunch of other things other than just clothing. Um, like I get a lot of my Monster High dolls I got from there. And here's the one I got for Kira. And it actually has a bunch of stuff I like already kind of put in here for her. Um, let's see. I'll go ahead and show you because um, she's kind of a girly girl. She likes dolls and stuff like that and um, not to say that gir like dolls are a really girly thing. I'm just, that was an aspect I was trying to get across that also ended up sounding really bad. But like um, there's these that used to be a keychain that I, I have two of them. I got to clean them. They're like really dirty. Like I said, they were, they were a keychain. So, they were used. But they're little monies. Um, there's this I got from a Junkie Spot Extra. It was like a Junkie Spot Extra that I got in one of my packages. Along with this Hello Kitty. And then, um, there's this thing. Which is another Extra from Junkie Spot. Which I was just like, it's a cute little toy she could use or something. Um... Then there's this thing, which is like a voodoo doll. It's, um, it was one that was like, uh, symbolizing like bullying and stuff. Like you just, uh, like, um, against bullying. But like I got, I gave her, put that one in there. And then, you know, just a few other girly things like, you know, a gun and, you know, knives. You know, normal girly stuff. 
I just threw that stuff in here. I mean, and the knives aren't done. I still have to finish them. But, like, I was just throwing things in here after I had put the dolls in here. And it just happened to be, like, the guns and the knives. And Although she will have a knife. Um, not, the knives are actually hers. So, that's cool. And it'll look really cute on her. She's, a she's like, roughly a little bit bigger than a Monster High doll. So, um, this big backpack on her will make her look even cuter. And I think that's it for my little updates. Um, and those were five dollars. Um, these are five dollars at Ross. So, they're actually a really good price for, um, something that was completely leather, pretty much. Well, it's pleather. It's not real leather, obviously. So, yeah. Um, I guess I can get started. I feel like this is going to go really quick and I'm going to feel really awkward because I'm, like, not actually saying the story, but I'm, like, saying what people are saying. It's very new for me. That and I've never written anything down before, but, like, this, I was just bored and I started writing. And, um, yeah. So, um, a little bit of context. Basically, Alex comes home, like, when I, if you guys remember from my past stories, I say Alex, um, started, like, traveling and learning. Well, he went to the school that is basically, um, I guess you can consider it a college, basically, but I mean, it's slightly different than a normal college, but, um, my brain died. Basically, after, like, finishing his second year, I can't remember which year it was, because I, there's a reason for the years, which you'll, you'll find out in a later story. Anyway, he comes back, and, um, you know, shortly after he realizes, like, I need supplies before I go back to school, let me go back, let me go into the village and buy a few things. And anytime he goes into this village, by the way, he, he's usually, like, he has no makeup, um, and he kind of has, I would assume he would either cover up his ears in some way, or he would have a hood or something, so that way people didn't really go, oh, hey, you're a mutant, get the heck out of our town. <laughs> so, there's a little bit of context. But anyway. Alex goes into the town, you know, and gets kind of what he needs, and, um, you know, before he goes back to the pack, he's just like, hey, I'll just buy some apples, I'm a little hungry, I can eat one or two on the way, and, you know, have some while I'm there. So, <clears throat> um, this is what Alex says, um, yeah, I would like six apples, please. That's three coppers, please. Hey! A girl ran away with the apples. Unfortunately for her, she ran into somebody, causing the apples to fall to the ground, and she, in a panic, she picks up one or two and just runs. That's it. I'm... T uh, this is the, the manager, the, the market man. That's it. I'm tired of these disgusting mutants stealing things. Darling, get me my gun! <laughs> Amber wanted me to do voices, so I'm trying. <laughs> it's really weird and awkward. So, he grabs his gun, and he runs towards the direction of which she was going, which is basically roughly, like, heading towards the woods, which basically, like, the market area is basically in the center of town, and as you get further, there's, like, like, the closer to the woods is, like, basically older buildings, um, and people don't actually live in the, like, it's a lot of, um, empty buildings and run-down buildings and stuff like that. So, they basically run towards, like, the edge, or she ran towards the edge of the village, um, and basically he grabbed a bunch of people and was like, hey, you wanna come with me? and kill this mutant because we're tired of her stealing our things. So, in the process of this, Alex is kind of like, okay, well, oh well, about my apples? Because usually this stuff happens all the time, unfortunately. So Alex is kind of 
like I don't I shouldn't interfere because a lot of the times it will like if he interferes it will affect the the wolf pack and stuff like that so um he tries not to interfere but for some reason he had this feeling that he needed to help her and whatnot so I will continue the story mob Come out, you little mutant brat. She ran in here, pointing towards an empty building. Alex running up behind them. Stop! Uh, one of the mob people. Stop. <laughs> Ignore him. Break it down. And they're talking about the door. So they continue to try and knock the door down because obviously she kind of stacked some stuff so that way the door wouldn't open. <clears throat> obviously this ticked off Alex so he, I mean, jumps in front of them and uh, no, that's not what I wrote. <laughs> I'm having a hard time remembering my own stuff because I just wrote down the dialogue. I actually didn't write down what actually happened and stuff so I remember now. <laughs> Um, Alex basically creates ice spikes, just not to hurt anyone, like, vertical ice spikes, like, they go up like this, just to make them kind of stop. And Alex kind of jumps in front of them and is like, did you not hear the hear me the first time? I said enough. One of the men, you're that mutant that runs around with those dogs. I suggest you walk away. You know what... You know the... What? I can't even read my own writing. This is why I shouldn't write dialogue and then try to read it. If you know what's good for you is what I'm assuming that I wrote. Alex. Oh, it was actually... He was talking... The, the, the man basically was kind of talking about how what Alex does kind of reflects on the pack. And then this is what Alex has to say about that. Well, first of all, what I do will not reflect on my pack, and this is your last warning, or you might find more ice spikes in your future. The man that's basically the head of this mob kind of mulls it over and just goes, Fine. If she sets another foot in this village again, you know what will happen. Basically threatening her. <clears throat> and so, like, the mob walks off. He waits until he can't see them anymore or anything. Because the mob very well could have just lied to him, waited, and then once he, like, broke open the door to go check on her or something, which is probably what they would have assumed was going to go, go on, they could have easily just ran their way in there and killed them both. So he made sure they were like long gone before he ever went back in where before he ever went into the house. So he goes in there and he hears the girl crying in the corner of one of, in the corner of the room. Hello. Is it okay? I'm not Oh. <clears throat> God dang it. Hello. And, you know, Kira kind of gets scared because, obviously, she doesn't know that Alex is, like, like her a mutant or whatever. So she is instinctly, like, get away from me. <laughs> it's okay, I'm not going to hurt you. What's your name? <clears throat> She's crying and basically, like, <gasps> Kira. <clears throat> Where am I going to go now? Because basically she's trying to figure out what she's going to do. Because, you know. Because now she literally cannot go back into the village. And she's basically heard everything that they were talking about. <clears throat> well, Kira. You can come back with me to the pack. She'd stopped crying by now. Really? But wouldn't they attack me? Listen. I won't let anything hurt you. I promise. And that's basically the end of the dialogue that I wrote. 
there's more to it like what happens when he takes her back and stuff like that but I think I'll leave that for another video especially since I don't like talking about my characters until I have the doll in hand in front of a video but I hope that was enough to tide you until I have her unboxed and stuff and I'm really sorry if that was really weird and awkward because it was really weird and awkward for me because I've never done it before so I just hope you guys thought the voices were funny I tried <laughs> and um yeah I know I left it at a cliffhanger but um I like doing that with my stories because it keeps people coming <laughs> so yeah Alex basically brings her back to the pack where he lives and just so you guys know, he doesn't technically live, like, in with the pack. Um, as he got older, he kind of made himself... He either made himself a tiny little house, or he lives in a hole in the wall. Like a cave. But it's, like, a mountainous kind of area. Well, not mountainous, but, like, very hilly and rocky and stuff. So, there's a bunch of different caves in this area. That's why the pack's there. Because there's lots of places for them to technically house so each pack kind of has a small little cave that's theirs or not pack um each little group family pack has that and oh I also wanted to mention something about Alex's personality because I recently did a kind of well not recently this is like a week and a half ago <clears throat> a role like a kind of role play thing with Amber like it was a joking thing um Tomo was talking about getting some girls, and um, he, obviously he didn't say girls. He said the ba the B word, um, and I, I I try not to cuss on this channel. So, yeah. So Alex is like, Alex is not dumb by any means. Like if you guys saw one of my other videos, you would know that he's pretty smart. He's just kind of ignorant. He doesn't understand the way people talk so like when Toma said hey get all of them girls Alex's first instinct is like why does he want a bunch of female dogs I don't understand like it just didn't make sense and like if you literally said that as a, a person talking to another person like hey get all those female dogs yo and it's like it doesn't quite make any sense so that's kind of how Alex understands, like, the human world, <laughs> in a way. Um, so, like, he can learn in all the things in all the books, but human interaction is usually not his thing. Just for that fact that he just doesn't understand simple things like that. So, yeah. And this, enough of the little rambliness of this video, um... Hopefully uh, you guys enjoyed this little bit of a story time. Um, there will be one next week. Excuse me. I'm trying to get in the habit of doing one a week. Either it's from the Phoenix Sisters or from Alex's story. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this and I will see you guys later. Bye!